let's go over Netflix hacks. Because guess what? I got hacked. And I gotta say, it sucked. And I wanna go over how this hack happened, how you might get hacked, and how to prevent it. But also, there's something that happened the next day after everything was fixed that was just really bizarre. So let's dive into it. So how'd this happen? First off, I was laying in bed, me and my wife were watching, I, I think Plex at the time, not Netflix per se, but I got a ding. And then I pick up my phone, look at it, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. Somebody from New Jersey is trying to get on my Netflix or just logged into my Netflix. Well, I live in Texas, so I was like, okay, that's obviously wrong. Let me go over to my computer. So I get up, walk over to my computer. About a minute or two later, I go to log in. Account not found. I don't exist any longer, but obviously I'm still paying for that Netflix account. I'm like, oh no. Somebody has stolen my Netflix account. So I pull up my screen again. Look at the number on the bottom. Call him up. A nice guy by the name of Jeremy helped me out from Netflix. He said, oh yes, I see this. This has happened quite often. Uh, let's go ahead and restore your email and reset your password. So after verifying I am who I say I am, he did all this and everything was right with the world. But let's go over how this happens. Because if you're like me, when it comes to Netflix, you usually have it on a television. And those television remotes, well, they just kind of suck to operate. You're sitting there going back and forth typing that password in. You kind of want it to be short. You kind of want it to be kind of something easy to where it's on the left side or maybe even the right side of the QWERTY keyboard. And uh, yeah, I use that password a lot of places over the past years, uh, probably five to six years to be precise. And when you do this and you reuse these simplistic passwords over many years, you can easily get hacked. So when it comes to major services, Google, Netflix, Pandora, pick your poison here, you can easily get compromised because what ends up happening is these major companies, one of them, pretty much all of them, get compromised at one point in time and that password gets leaked to the outside world. And uh, that usually comes in the form of a database breach. And when that happens, they download everything, they get all the emails and passwords. Some companies store them in plain text, so it's very easy to get your password and email on some of these breaches. Uh, for me, there was two major breaches I was a part of. Uh, Adobe.com got breached several years back, and also Nexus Mods got uh, breached, which I was a member of because I do a lot with like Fallout and Skyrim. And I was like, all right, well, it's probably one of those two. If you want to check if you've been pwned or hacked uh, and been part of the, one of these breaches, chances are you've been at least a couple of them, if not more, because many companies have been. Go to havebeenpwned.com. I'm not affiliate. There's no paywall or anything crazy. You just type your, your email address in and it just pops up what you need and says, hey, you've been breached here, here, and here. Uh, and there you go. So uh, those were mine. I'm guilty of using those passwords in those spots. So... Uh, no one's to blame but myself. But needless to say, when a breach like this happens, it gets uploaded to the dark web. From the dark web, it gets downloaded, and then these hackers hit up all the major spots, Google, uh, Nintendo, uh, a lot of the gaming sites, Netflix, you know, those types of pay-to-play sites, uh, which they can actually utilize. Apple, I think, is another big one, but Apple obviously has a lot of two-factor these days. Same with Google, and rightfully so. Two-factor helps stifle some of these hacks, but Netflix, probably one of the easiest ones to hack and use. And it's even more dangerous because they allow anybody logged in to change the password and basically grab ownership from you. And it's kind of a headache, about 10 to 15 minute process to get your account back as it was in my case. So that's how it happens. And that's what happened. Now, what happened the next day I thought was kind of interesting as uh, it was a Saturday morning, about 8 a.m. My cousin calls me and said, hey, my Netflix got hacked. And I was like, that's kind of funny because I hadn't talked to my cousin in probably a couple months and I hadn't told anybody I've been hacked on Netflix. 
And I just thought it was kind of crazy, almost like somebody wanted me to make this video just to say, hey, don't use this. And if you do, and you do get hacked, pull up that screen at the very start there that says, hey, you were signed in from here, call this number, from there you'll be able to get your account back with relative ease. So I told him to do that, he said he already did it, and then the next thing I said was, did you reuse this password anywhere else? And sure enough, he had many different sites, and I was like, you need to go through and change all those. Use a password manager, or if you're not doing a password manager, write it down on a piece of paper, sort in a safe or a safe spot no one has access to. Um, now, normally, this is the part where we're like, hey, put an ad here, go ahead, sponsor the video, brand integration. Yeah, well, we don't have one of those. So for this, obviously, if you're using a password manager, the two recommendations I have for you, and both are free services. LastPass is what I've used for a long time, but I know they do have some monetization options that turns off some people. There's also Bitwarden, which I have uh, heard a lot of really great things about. So I think these two services are tried and true and proven, and they're also free. Definitely use them if uh, you're on the internet. And if you don't use them, be using unique passwords everywhere you go. If I sign up for a form, if I sign up for anything, it's a unique password. That way, if someone knows my email and they get a hold of a breach somewhere, they try that password anywhere else, it's not going to work as you should be using unique passwords. But that's it. That's what this video is about, mainly as a PSA to you to say, hey, don't be a dummy like I was and get your Netflix stolen. And if your Netflix does get stolen or hacked, that's how you recover it. Um, but needless to say, a little embarrassing. I was a little bit hesitant to make this video, but at the same time, it might be good for somebody else out there and help them out. But with that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, thank you to my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.